There we go. Look at that square bill. Oh yeah, that's a good fish too. Lunatics, welcome back to the channel. We're starting off the video in the garage because I want to talk to you about a couple things. Today's video, you're going to see me catch my first top water fish of the year, and then we're also going to catch some crankbait fish. Pretty fun day on the water, I'm not going to lie. Anytime you catch crankbait fish and top water fish, it's a good day out on the water. But I'm going to also let you guys know about a giveaway that we're doing in today's video. I'm going to make up a couple buzz baits just like the ones you see in the video today, along with the trailers that you're going to see in the video today. Uh, both of them are dual molds products, the buzz baits are dual molds product, and the trailer, the soft plastic trailer that I'm throwing is the berry bug mold from Duet Molds. I'm gonna make up a black one and a white one along with some black and white soft plastic trailers to go along with those buzz baits. And one winner is gonna win all that stuff. So here's how you get in on the giveaway. You have to like today's video, be subscribed to the channel, share the video out, and comment your favorite top water bait, and you're gonna have your chance to win those buzz baits and the trailers that go along with it. So make sure to be subscribed to the channel, to like today's video, to share it out, and to comment on what your favorite top water bait is. Let's get into today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and good luck in the giveaway. That was rad. Smoked it. Fish smoked it. This guy's pissed. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Buzz bait. First topwater fish of the year. First topwater fish of the year. Boat flips only, baby. That's rad. So rad. Good one. Good one. Dual molds buzz bait. Dual molds berry bug. Gold blade. First top water fish of the year. I'm pumped. That's a good one. He's going in the box for a little bit. Well, guys, that thing was pissed. He did not want to get caught. That's for dang sure. Um, I was reeling that thing. He ate it. And uh, the fight was on, like, immediately. That thing did not want to come in the boat. Did not want to give up. It was a pretty rad little fight right there. And one thing I did notice about that last catch was that it was all about the angles. The angle that I had taken on that, that little point right there, it was right next to the cover. It was right along the cover as well it wasn't like perpendicular to it like i am right now it was a lot more parallel to the cover but obviously you know sometimes it's hard to get those angles but when you're fishing top water fishing a buzz bait like that keeping this thing in the strike zone as long as possible is super key but um yeah let's let's hopefully we hopefully we can do that again that was first top water fish of the year i'm pretty pumped about that So real quick guys, Waterland came out with two brand new frames, the Sobros and the Slaunches. Uh, really cool new frames, the same three lens colors that have you covered for any of your conditions and stuff like that. So make sure to check out Waterland, waterlandcode.com. Use my code LUNA10. You can also get a pair of Waterland sunglasses on the Sixth Sense Fishing website, sixthsensefishing.com. But those brand new frames, these are the Ashore models that I got on right now, but they just came out with two new ones. So go to the website, waterlandcode.com. Use my discount code LUNA10, and it's gonna save you some money, and you're gonna get some really awesome polarized sunglasses. There's one. Oh, it just came off. Dang it. Dang it. But we got another one on the, bait, the buzz bait. Another one on the buzz bait. And I found some rocks. <laughs> found some rocks. 
Well, a couple buzzbait fish to start off the morning, which was pretty cool. Uh, one of them didn't quite make it in the boat. It came off right, right, at, right at the side of the boat. But it was pretty cool. I made those buzzbaits yesterday before it came out, and uh, I made those berry bugs as well, the dual molds berry bugs. I haven't shown you guys that video yet of me making um, any of those baits, but they're pretty cool. I got a couple new molds that I'm gonna show you guys in some future videos. But um, so far, the morning's been pretty good, and uh, now we're gonna slow it down, fish a little bit deeper, and hopefully catch a few more fish. There's one. That feels like a good one too. Feels like a good fish. Stay on. Stay on there. Feels like a decent fish. Might be foul hooked. It's fighting super weird. I don't know what's going on, but it's a fish. That's for oh my god. Oh my god. Get in the boat. There we go. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Look at that fish, guys. Thing's a beast. <clears throat> Thing's a beast. Thing's a beast. Look at that. Look at that fish. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, get closer. Look at that thing. Look at that fish. Six cents crankbait. Jane Juice 15 footer. Found this rock pile, guys. Found the rock pile, graphed over it, worked my way up to it, threw that crankbait down there, hit those rocks, and this guy just smoked it. Super awesome. Such a fun way to catch him, guys. Look at that thing. Look at that crankbait right in its mouth. Look at that thing. So rad. So rad. Well, guys, that's pretty rad. That was a rad fish right there. I literally just graphed over this whole bank, found some different rock piles that I wanted to fish, pulled up on the first one, threw, made a few casts on that crankbait, and boom, caught that fish. I'm guessing that's like at least four and a half, five pounder or something like that. Pretty rad fish, and uh, we're gonna get back out there and we're gonna hopefully catch some more. There's one. There's one. Stay on. I don't think it's hooked very good. Hopefully it stays on. It's another decent one. Oh. There we go. Square bill in. Square bill in. Ate it good, actually. Ate it good, actually. Just don't want to hook myself. There we go. Look at that. Square bill right in the mouth. Look at that. Look at that square bill. Oh yeah. That's a good fish too. It's a fun day out here. Two crankbait fish, two buzzbait fish. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Well, pretty cool. There's this little like flat area right over here and the wind's blowing up on it and I figured that the uh, square bill might be a good option and I got up to the shallowest part of it and there's some sticks sticking out of the water and everything like that and uh, was able to basically just bang one of those sticks and that fish must have just been sitting there and it just smoked it. I, I didn't think it was hooked very good but it was actually hooked with both hooks right across the mouth which means they got it pretty good. So I'm excited about that and uh, let's do it again. Guys I know a lot of people don't like to fish in the wind but the wind is your friend. You're gonna be able to catch more fish fishing in the wind. The fish just don't see your bait as well. They are more aggressive, and you're gonna be able to catch them on a reaction where if it wasn't windy, you'd probably be stuck throwing a finesse bait or dragging something slow. But with that wind, you can get away with throwing the reaction baits and stuff like that. So don't be afraid to fish in that wind. Pretty good day overall, guys. Um, the uh, buzz bait, the crank baits, those were the deal. The reaction baits were the deal today. Couldn't get bit on anything slow. I got some short bites and stuff like that. But overall, those reaction bites were key. Super fun catching them on that buzz bait. That was a dual molds buzz bait with the dual molds berry bug for the trailer. And then I had a Crush 50X square bill crank bait. And then I had a Cloud 9 C15 crank bait as well. Check out the links in the description and uh, everything that I was using today 
is uh, down there. So check it out. Some affiliate links, some discount codes. So make sure to check that stuff out. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.